What's up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm still here with Evan. He's chilling back there. And I'm gonna show you how to start an eBay business from scratch. So Evan sold some things on eBay in the past. And today we're gonna show you exactly what you need to start an eBay business, where to start, and the types of places and stores to go to to look for inventory. So he hasn't sold anything for several months, so we're gonna start his store back up and show you guys exactly what you need to do. All right, so we're on the way to some stores right now. First, I'm gonna tell you everything that you're gonna to need to start your eBay business. So first, I've made a video on this. Uh, you can check that out, I'll link it down below. But um, I'm gonna recap it. So you're gonna need some strapping tape. Uh, if you want a tape gun, go ahead and get a tape gun as well. Uh, you don't need it at first. You can just use scissors with the strapping tape or like the little thing that comes with it. Um, Evan doesn't have that, so we're gonna to need to get that. He has mailers. Uh, he's got a lot of mailers just like this one. So he's set there. Uh, he's gonna need to get some boxes, but as I've shown in my past videos, you can get free USPS boxes from their website. All different services from them. You can get like the regional box A, flat rate boxes, but also just standard mailing boxes from them. Again, check out that video down below. I will explain exactly how to do that in that one. And then you're also gonna need a scale. He doesn't have a scale, but even a simple food scale from Walmart for 10 or 15 bucks will do. Also, the one I use is called an Accutech and it's like 18 or $20 on eBay and Amazon. I've linked everything that I use down below. Um, you're gonna need a ruler or a yardstick. He's got one of those, so we're good there. He doesn't have a printer here because he's in Chicago for an internship. He has one back at home in Michigan, but he does not have one here. So we're gonna need to stop in at a Goodwill and find him a printer. And then you're gonna need a phone or a computer to run everything from, and he has that. So he's got the phone and he's got the mailers and the rulers. So we're almost there. We just need to get him some tape, a scale, and a printer. All right, so Goodwill was blasting music here. So I'm just gonna voice over what I already did. $10 for this printer. We plugged it in. Turns out it was great. Cartridges looked good. Screen worked and it printed like a beauty when we got it home. Got the scale on sale, 16 bucks. It's just a food scale, so that'll work because it'll go up to six pounds and you can do everything first class at first. And I needed a new tape gun too, so we're getting two of these Scotch tape guns. Easy $12.99 plus 50% off the next one. And we got a roll of tape with each of these, so pretty easy. All right, so rule of thumb, I like to say, is set yourself a goal of how much you want to spend at first. So whether that be $100, $200, and don't spend past that until you double that investment. That way you're not just buying stuff to buy stuff and getting in a sinking hole. A good way to build up capital fast, if you want some to start out with, sell things around your house. I know plenty of people have done this. You have tons of stuff around your house sitting right now that you don't use anymore or you don't need. So use that to build up capital if you don't have an initial investment. Evan's got a goal of $100 he wants to spend. We just hit Marshall's and he found some good stuff. So we got, he got two of these Bears New Era visors for $5.99. Easy 20, 22 bucks a piece. Gonna profit about seven, eight dollars on each of those. Doubling his investment on each of those. And then he got two of these Ray Dunn napkin holders. Be on the lookout for anything Ray Dunn and obviously look it up because it's good. And this also was $7.99. So this was going for anywhere from $28 to $35. Again, uh, this is just under a pound. So I think in a light box, it should be able to go first class and he should profit between nine and $12 on this. So he's doubling his investments and that's what you need to do. When you're first starting out, don't take many risks. Go with the stuff that's nice and easy. We found lots of stuff for him that he could have gotten, but it would have been a little risky. So we're just getting him the stuff that is going to sell hopefully pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna get back to his house after we do some more sourcing and show you guys how to list correctly. All right, so I'm looking around Evan's apartment trying to find a good listing spot for him. I see this giant box right here. That looks like a good spot to me. Just take a little white blanket Make it look nice and official. Bang. Then we just take whatever we want. And we can just take our pictures of that right there. 
Easy peasy. And if you've never sold something on eBay before, I guarantee you know someone that has an eBay account and you're gonna wanna list something for $1, have them buy it and leave you positive feedback. Even if you've gotten feedback before in the past and it is buyer feedback, that's not gonna matter. You need seller feedback and your listings will get boosted and you'll start to notice sales. Um, if you've watched my past videos, my friend Trent, I did this with him and he ended up selling something same day. So Evan is going to post this poly mailer right here for one dollar i'm gonna buy it and we're gonna see how long it takes him to sell something all right so now we're gonna list this so we got it set up in our studio now we're scrolling through sold comps not this exact one it didn't come up so we typed in chicago bears new air advisor and there's one right there so you can click on that hit sell one like this and then you're just gonna edit all the details yourself hey what's up i can see myself in the reflection so pictures are so key in this and you're gonna want to zoom in a little more than that there you go hit that square he got that square hit and zoom in bang get one from a couple different angles don't show that marshall's tag is key uh, if you want to return it then you got to leave that tag on and then take it off when you ship it do not ship it with that or they will be mad just tell you that from experience and he knows all the things to take pictures of. That is nice. Way to hide. All right, so once you've taken all your pictures, you're going to hit done, done again. All right, so oh. you're going to want to add more um, words to the title here because it's horribly described. So we added more to the title up here. They didn't have much. We just added new era, Chicago Bears, adjustable hat, cap, visor, just some keywords. Uh, the specifics are pretty good on this. So sometimes you're gonna have to edit them more than normal, but this one not so much. So then you're gonna click on pricing. And I think we wanna go 19.99 on this one, move it. And uh, turn offers off. And then quantity, how many do you have? There's like two. two. All right, and then we gotta go down to shipping, delivery, and just click on shipping cost. And make free at the, at the top. And then package details, change that to four ounce. That way you don't forget because this will be four ounces and we're doing a padded mailer. Done. Now you will list it at the bottom and you're good to go. Not too long. So great places to start sourcing. Obviously first is selling things around your house if you have that. Then Goodwill, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, anything like that that's the next place to go once you've built up some capital again set your mark if you want to spend a hundred dollars thousand dollars whatever your mark is that way you don't overspend and you know you never know if you don't try so it's worth a shot all right so in total to start evan's business he's got 16 dollars in a scale he's got 10 dollars in a printer he's got inventory here eight dollars here eight dollars these shoes right here were 20 and then two visors at $6 each and a tape gun for 10 bucks. So with inventory and all his supplies, that brings his total to $84. He didn't even have to spend his $100. And the reason he doesn't really need to get packing supplies, he works for a company that makes these. So I'm taking some of these home too because he's got a lot of them. They were just gonna throw these away. So pretty which doesn't make sense if they're recycled package and they're gonna throw them away, but you know, whatever. So he's good on this. He'll just need to find some boxes. We're gonna figure out where to find boxes tomorrow. Probably take them to GFS or like Sam's Club or somewhere like that. As I've said in the past, you can get boxes there, but yeah, he's good on poly mailers. Most of his stuff he has, he can send in poly mailers or other boxes. So while editing this, I realized I forgot to show that Evan got one of these inflatables. Pretty cool. It's like an inflatable bowl that you put in the water. And uh, this was 40 bucks, so that would bring his total to $124. I'm about to leave 
And Evan just sold his first thing that wasn't something I bought. He sold this inflatable bowl for $100, paid $40 for it, cost $15 to ship. He netted $35 profit on this guy and just bought it yesterday. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. If you've been scared to take the leap, Evan's decided to take the leap in his free time. So don't be afraid. If you have $100, set it aside, get started in this. It's really not that hard to get started in this and find stuff in the areas of the stores that you enjoy. He enjoys the same stores and same items as I do. So same departments, it's really easy. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.